Okay, so this is our street, and already I'm seeing some strip malls. These houses don't look too oh, it's good. It's gotta be this one. It's all boarded up. Oh my God. Oh, wow. This one's a winner. A house that's boarded up scares away a lot of buyers, which creates an opportunity to get a good deal. These are the type of homes I'm looking for. Whew. Uh, now I know why it's only 240. I'm kind of concerned here. I see some positives. I mean, the concrete's good, the roof looks good. Okay, the, I'll give you that. The driveway is unusually nice for this house. All right, you wanna go around the side? Can we get in the back? Why not? Nobody lives here. Don't break anything, though. <laughs> nice job, guy. Okay, pause note. Look at this. We have irrigation here at this house. Clearly not being used, irrigation. Okay, there's a bed. Oh my God. Dude, seriously, there's, there's a lot of trash in here. This place is nasty. It's disgusting. I like it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Don't you start, man. I want it. This may be something Tark's used to, but I'm not. The thought of going to a house like this with all these unknowns is really freaking me out. I'm seeing dollar signs. Everybody else is going to run. I said we get out of here, man, before those dogs eat us. Pete may be worried because this is the worst house on the block. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. With a $240,000 purchase price and comps in the high 300s, the potential reward is much greater here. Nah, I got it, I got it. I'm good at this stuff. <laughs> All right, can we go now? Never mind. You're definitely not a contractor. With Christina taking time off because of the pregnancy, I've decided to partner with Pete oh, DeBest on our next flip. Really We got the house in Corona for $240,000, and now it's time to see what we bought. Yeah. Our contractor, Jeff, is meeting us there to break the locks so we can get our first look inside. The windows are vinyl. Yeah. You broke the door. All there righty. you go. Oh, boy. This place is beat up. I don't get why there's a bed in here. That's kind of weird. There's clothes. Glass, graffiti. I'd be very careful what you walk on. Hey, you know what, though? Once it's cleaned up, it's kind of a decent we house. Have, we don't have to scrape, check it out. I guess this was the dining room slash bedroom. Okay, they got granite, but it's pretty nasty granite. Replace or keep cabinets? We, we gotta get rid of them. Okay, new cabinets, counters. So 8,000 in the kitchen. Jeff, we just take some mental notes. We need all new flooring. So in this bathroom, this size, what do you think we're looking at for a full gut? 4,500? Oh yeah. All right. Hey, you remember when we first walked in, I said it had vinyl windows? Yeah. It had vinyl windows. It, it did, literally, they're on the ground. That's why they boarded up all the windows. So people are breaking in. I know for sure that they're still breaking in because look around. I hear water. Oh, look, I actually, I see water too. Oh Wait my God, dude, we gotta do something about this. This is gonna flood the whole house. Oh my God. That's brilliant. Okay, this house could be a lot worse than I thought. We could just turn the water off from the outside. I hope we don't have to repipe this house. Is that off? Yep. This isn't a good start. Water damage can be an expensive fix. So just taking a closer look at the house and coming up with an overall budget for the renovation. What do we got, Jeff? How are you guys? Everything is good as far as the water goes. Minimal flooding. So what do you think the renovation is gonna cost? We're looking at 50,000. Wow, that high? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's demo the house right now and right. see what we find. Sounds good. Let's rock and roll. I got all the heavy stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Nailed it. The layout of this house is good, so spending thousands of dollars to tear down walls is totally unnecessary. Right, now that so the kitchen's gutted, it's time to talk design. I can't wait to see what you got, Pete. So here's what I have. This is a gray and it has a little bit of beige shones in it with a white shaker. Looks great. It's wide plank too. And actually this is about $2 a foot, so it's a little bit more, so but it's worth two, it. $2 a foot. Yeah. This is what I got here, hold this for a sec. All right. That's cool. This is $1.30 a square foot. That's not cool. It's almost half as much as yours. Absolutely, this doesn't work. What do you mean? I mean, look at it, it's like flimsy. And the look of the house isn't gonna be browns and beiges. 
So we're going to be like grays and whites. So let me see the cabinet, though, because that looks Check cool. Check this out. This is kind of a newer look. You mean a modern look? Yeah. OK, so here's my thought. I love this cabinet, but with the flooring, it's too much gray. So let's use my flooring. OK. And then we'll use your cabinet, put in white. We can also do more modern appliances and put in a really cool hood. There you go. Coming out nice, man. I got something to show you. Check this out. Okay, we have nice contrast here with the white going with the gray. That's you like it? That's I, I love it, but that's glass, right? Yeah, it's glass. Honestly, we can just do a white subway tile, and it's like three dollars a foot. This is what fifteen twenty. Christina would love this, man. I'm sure she would. But luckily for me, she's not here, so we can save money. Do you understand? We have white cabinets. We have white quartz countertops. And then we want white backsplash, white subway tile. It's going to be completely white in here. It's going to get us more money for the house. OK? You're saying no. OK. OK, we, we disagree. I'm not putting that in. You're not putting in white subway tile. So we have to figure this out. I know the perfect way to figure this out. And? Golf. It's on. We're going to have a putting contest. And the first one to sink five balls gets to choose the backsplash. Oh. Oh, one and one. Oh. Something's wrong with this putter, I think. I don't even know why you showed up. Nice one. I needed the whole hole there. No. Nope. Oh. Stop it. That's not funny. Oh, unfazed. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope you like uh, gray glass subway tile. Come on, this could last be a, one. I know. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> I All left right. the door open. Winning shot. No pressure. I'm better under pressure, you know that. Here, I'll even caddy for you, OK. No! Are you kidding me? Wow, the crowd goes wild. White silver tile, you're out second place. All right, man, here's some more tile. OK. Yeah. Oh, it's really coming together. It is white. It's a little bit white, but even if you look at the counters, there's a lot of gray in it. So once we get the gray grout, gray counter, gray flooring, I think it's going to work. OK. Oh. It's time to design the bathroom, and we've decided to try something different. So I called the guy from a local company that does prefab showers to meet us at the house and give us an idea if this will be more cost efficient than doing it ourselves. We pre-build your showers to your specification, your design. We build them off-site in our factory. When Jeff calls us, we deliver them and install them in a day. I can do as many showers or tubs as you have in the same day. How about permits inspections? No inspections are needed with our system. We're listed with the International Code Council. This is promising. By doing the tiling and inspections off-site, we can save time and money. Now all we have to do is choose the material. This is going to be the shower wall. This is going to be the shampoo niche and the mosaic band. We'll have it delivered to your warehouse, build it, and then we'll install it. So let's figure out what we want to list it for. I found two excellent comps. The negative we have here mm -hmm. is we're on the main street. This property is a flip. It's nice. And it's the same floor plan. It's a four bedroom, two bath, 1430 square feet. It sold for 404,000. Here's the other comp, OK? Three bedroom, two bath. But this one sold for 395,000. OK, so where does that put us? I think our design is so much nicer that people are going to pay more. How much more? I think we come in at 419.9. OK, let's do it. All right, deal, 419.9. All right, buddy. 
paint looks great. I know, it was a good choice. You know, the big question today is, are we listed at the right price or not? Because, you know, it was a tough decision to make. Oh. Look at the kitchen. What a difference, man. With the staging and everything how it is, now the house is priced right. Let's just see what happens. I like the landscaping they've done here. A lot of nice trees, flowers. Good pop of color. This is a four bedroom, two bath house. It's approximately 1,400 square feet. We're asking for 19.9, and uh, me and my business partner here designed it ourselves. So we're dying to get your opinion on the remodel as well as the list price. Look at the kitchen, look oh. at the vent, how oh, wow. beautiful. This is great, it's a nice size. I love the cabinets and the nickel hardware. Tons of counter space. I like the sparkle in it too. I like the white subway backsplash. Yeah. It's very nice. I love the wide plank on the floor. I think it's great. This wow. is a great room. Lots of light. I love the French doors. Mm -hmm. The fireplace is beautiful. I love the color. Oh, this is my kind of room. Nice and roomy. Mm -hmm. And this must be the master bathroom. Now this is a shower. Wow, that looks almost metallic. That is beautiful. It's really pretty. After several weeks without any offers, we finally lowered the price to $397,500, and we received an offer. Time to find another house to flip.